Welcome back, Key Stage 1, to week 8 of your writing lessons, and this is day 3. Before we get started with today's lesson, I would like you to complete today's retrieval practice, and it is one of our quick fire 5 Key Stage 1 grammar quizzes, and today's one is on adjectives and adverbs. Good luck! Let's take a look at today's learning objective. Today, I would like you to plan an acrostic poem. And if we have a look at our success criteria for today, by the end of today's lesson, you should be able to say, I can plan my writing for an acrostic poem. I can also use adjectives in my writing, like the ones that we were using on Monday to describe our five senses. And then I can even include adverbs in my writing. Let's quickly recap what an adjective is. So I'd like you to have a discussion with your adult about what you understand by the word adjective. So you can tell them, I think it is, or and an adjective is. Tell them what you understand by that word now. Well done. An adjective is a word that is used to help describe or give description to people, places and things. And it gives lots of descripti descriptive information about lots of different things like size, shape or age. Well done if you got that right. Here is another little bit of retrieval practice for you. On Monday, you came up with some examples of adjectives. Could you discuss with your adult? if you can remember some examples of adjectives that you might have come up with. Okay, and here are some of the examples that I came up with, which you can have a, a read through by pausing the video. OK, we're going to move on to a different question for today that I'd like you to think about. Again, I'd like you to discuss with your adult this question. What is an adverb? You can start by telling them, I think it is, or an adverb is, and then see if you can give your adult some examples of adverbs. You can pause the video and then I'll show you the definition. OK, here's our definition for adverb. It is a word that modifies a verb, adjective or other adverb. To put it another way, an adverb describes actions and it describes other descriptive words. OK, for today's lesson, you will be using the five senses worksheet that you did on Monday's lesson to help you plan an acrostic poem. So here was my five senses worksheet that I filled in on Monday, and that will be useful for you today. First of all, let's look at what an acrostic poem is. So an acrostic poem is a poem where the first letter in each line spells out a word or phrase. Take a look at these examples. So here I have got the word s, n, o. So each letter at the beginning of each line spells out a word. So this one is snow. And then the poem describes the word snow. Another one here, as you can see, and usually the first letter is capitalised and much bigger than the rest of the poem. We've got the word um, uh, summer and each line describes this word summer. Finally, we have got the word toast, uh, toaster down the side and each line again describes this word down the side. 
If you want to pause the video and have a read through those poems now to get an idea of what acrostic poems sound like. Before you get started on your acrostic poem, I'm going to start writing a waggle, what a good one looks like, for a plan for my acrostic poem. So the word I have chosen to write my acrostic poem about is the word beach. So each line will start with a letter that spells the word beach. I'm going to use my census sheet that I did on Monday to help me plan my poem. Now you don't have to write them in order as to how you've written them on your sheet. So you don't have to write cool breeze up here and you don't have to write about the salty air here. You can pick and choose whichever things you have described on your census sheet as to where you want to put them in your poem. So I'm just going to give a couple of examples of a couple of lines that I might write for my poem. I'm going to start with the letter C. So I've chosen the letter C to start writing about. Now I'm going to have a look at my census sheet and I'm going to pick something that I would like to write about for that section. So I think I'm going to choose my fish and chips. So I'm going to take my pen. I'm going to draw my fish and chips in here to remind me what I'll be writing about. Now on my census sheet, I've written the adjective delicious to describe my fish and chips. However, because it begins with the word, the letter C, I can't use delicious fish and chips because it doesn't begin with the letter C. So I'm going to change my adjective to crunchy. So I'm going to write an expanded noun phrase and that will be my first line of my poem that I'm showing you. Sure your writing will be much better than mine. So I've got crunchy fish and chips. So that's my first line that I've written for my poem. And the letter C begins my line. So I've got crunchy, begins with a k sound. Next, I'm going to look at the letter H and I'm going to pick something from my census sheet to write about. So where I have looked at what I could hear at the seaside, I've written about noisy gulls. So I'm going to write about my seagulls for this bit. I'm going to draw a couple of seagulls to remind me what I'm writing about. And then I am going to change my adjective. So instead of noisy, because that starts with an N, I need a word that starts with the letter H or the H sound. So I'm going to go with hungry. So I've got hungry seagulls. So if I stopped writing at hungry seagulls, that would be absolutely fine as a line for my poem because it's an expanded noun phrase and it works for the letter H because hungry starts with an H. But I'm going to challenge myself and put in an adverb. So remember, an adverb describes an action. So I'm trying to think about what they were doing in the video. The seagulls, they would be flying. So I'm going to put hungry seagulls flying. And then I'm going to put in an adverb. So I need to describe how they were flying. So I'm going to write my word flying. Now thinking about that video, they were quite noisy and I've chosen the word noisy in my census sheet. So I'm going to put hungry seagulls flying noisily. So the word noisily is my adverb for this one. So 
So you can either write just expanded noun phrases or you can add in some adverbs to create full sentences. So hungry seagulls flying noisily. Those are just a couple of examples of what you could write for your poem. So for your activity, the word I would like you to do an acrostic poem for is the word seaside, as you can see here on your planning sheet. So you're going to use your census sheet from Monday with all your drawings and your adjectives to help you write your acrostic poem, making sure that the first word of each line starts with the letter at the beginning. So if you were to write for this box, whichever line you write here, the first word has to start with S. Here is your chilli challenge for today. So if you decide to go for the mild activity, in your poem I'd like you to use at least one adjective for each line of the poem. So use your census sheet from Monday where you came up with lots of different adjectives. If you decide to go for our medium activity today, I would like you to try and challenge yourself to use at least two adjectives in each line of your poem. And if you would like to challenge yourself even further, I would like you to use at least two adjectives and one adverb in each line of your poem. So an example from my plan where I used an adverb and adjectives was the last line of hungry seagulls flying noisily. So you need to challenge yourself to get in all of that description. OK, that brings us to today's plenary. For today's plenary, I would like you to write down all of the adverbs that you can see below. So I've got a big list of words here. And I'd like you to write down all of the ones that are adverbs. So pause the video, you can write them down or you can just discuss it and then we'll go through the answers. And here are the answers. So hopefully you wrote down quickly, excitedly, happily, steadily, swiftly, carefully and easily. Well done if you got all of those. OK, just going to go through what you need to do for tomorrow's activity before we reflect on our lesson today. So it's similar to the activity you did yesterday, but instead of identifying adjectives, I'd like you to identify adverbs. So you can either choose the mild, medium or hot challenge to recognise, so point out different adverbs and use different adverbs. Good luck. That brings us to our final thing for today's lesson. We're just going to have a quick reflection on our learning objective and our success criteria. So the learning objective for today was to plan an acrostic poem. So you should be able to say, I can plan my writing for an acrostic poem. If you've managed to fill out your plan, then that's fantastic. You have met that success criteria today. Hopefully you'll be able to say, I can also use adjectives in my writing. And I'm sure all of you have been able to do that because you will have come up with some fa fantastic ones from Monday's lesson. And then I will be super impressed if you can say I can even include adverbs in my writing. So if you've managed to use adverbs as well, well done. So that is the end of today's lesson and I look forward to seeing you next lesson.